Hey everybody, uh, Ideast here. Um, I wanted to make a video on is the universe uh, sentient? I, uh, I watched uh, a video the other day, it was like an hour and a half presentation by Father Coyne. He's a cosmologist at the Vatican. Um, he's actually a pretty cool guy. Um, I don't know if you've seen him before. He did a, I think it was like an hour long interview with uh, Dawkins as well. Um, he's not one of those uh, you know, old school religious, you know, he, he basically says that the Bible is a lot of poetry and prose and uh, in the uh, video that I watched with him the other day, he brought up a good point as far as uh, he said that the universe is self-reflecting. Um, so I actually want to make a, a quick video on um, is the universe sentient? Does it have a conscious uh, conscience and uh, is it aware? Um, I don't want to take it from a theological point of view. Um, this is more of a philosophical video. Um, it brings up the question, let's just say that there is no God, there's no, you know, any type of uh, creator, that the universe did in fact create itself. Um, and as a byproduct of that, we were created from the universe. We're actually part of the universe. We are in the universe and of the universe. And we are thinking beings. We're actually self-reflecting. We're reflecting on the universe, which is us. We have a conscience. We have uh, feelings. So would that mean that the universe itself has awareness and consciousness? And out of you know simple particles and elements, it created life. And we're able to think and actually study the universe, which is in fact the universe being studied by itself. Um, which I think, you know, it's a pretty interesting concept. It's, uh, I don't know, it's interesting to me. I was, uh, I was sitting there, uh, reflecting about it myself, and, uh, it makes a, I don't know, it makes a lot of sense. If, even if, you know, if there is a, a different cause from it, or if, you know, there's quantum fluctuations, or brain collisions, or multiverses, or so on and so forth, the universe that we're in is confined and we are actually a product of it and we're thinking species um, and we're studying the universe so we're you know cosmologically developed um, which I think makes us like I said uh, I think it makes us pretty important because we are actually living thinking sentient beings within a closed system that we are part of so in reality, we're really studying ourselves. Um, you know, th this is all obviously presupposing that there's no creator and nothing created anything, and we are just the product of cosmological evolution. Um, then the universe is aware, and the universe does have a conscience, and uh, we are that conscience. We are that awareness. We are the, the, the mind of the universe. And that's obviously being, you know, myopic and, and saying that, I you know, we're the only thinking... Uh, species that's out there and uh, you know there's not other life forms on other planets or in other galaxies and whatever and uh, you know obviously animals think as well but I'm, I'm talking about on the scale that we do we actually are studying the the cosmos and uh, if in fact we are just a, a product of cosmological evolution then we're really studying ourselves I don't know. Interesting concept. I uh, just want to throw it out there and uh, see if anybody else has ever thought about that. And if you did, if you have any opinions on it or uh, how you feel about it. And uh, I'd like to get some feedback from you. Because, uh, I don't know, I think it's a pretty interesting subject. So anyway, uh, uh, again, I hope everybody is well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because uh, I like hearing from you guys. And uh, until next time. Think hard.